After the Lord was baptized, the heavens were opened, and the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our last life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, soundly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption reborn with water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed she shall not break, and a smoldering whip he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord will bless his people with peace. The, the Lord, Lord will bless his, his people with peace. peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The, the Lord, Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The, the Lord, Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood, the Lord is enthroned as king forever. The, the Lord, Lord will bless his people with peace.
gospel according to Matt, uh, to, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. This is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and a spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, and it's a great reminder to us of that beginning of our Lord's ministry, but it also allows us to show that similarity and contrast between the Lord and John the Baptist, how they work together to have that great proclamation of the beginning of our Lord's ministry, the beginning of his public ministry and public journey from that time of the baptism to that way of the cross. For us, it is a very interesting day because it is that bridge between the Christmas season and ordinary time. To say that we are still witnessing that epiphany of the glory of God, that epiphany that we saw in the wise men, that epiphany that we saw all the angels and shepherds witnessing to who the Lord is. And we, we experience this again in the dove and in the voice of our Lord coming to recognize who Christ is, a beloved son, so that we might follow and listen and be guided by him. For us, that is a great reminder as we begin this year and as we start that time of ordinary time, that we listen to the Lord, that we allow the Lord to be our guide, allow our Lord to move through us. That as St. John the Baptist witnessed to the Lord by pointing towards him, by witnessing in his blood, by witnessing in his life, so too should we constantly point to the Lord in our lives, witnessing to the voice that we hear from God, that this is my beloved Son, that we continue to follow that path throughout ordinary time and throughout our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, let us stand and offer our profession of faith. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, responding to our call, as, as adopted sons and daughters of God, let us offer our prayer and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For new members of our community, that we may take time to greet them and welcome them with hospitality, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the world is set by sin and suffering, 
that the baptized faithful may be emboldened to work for justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young women and men discerning religious life, may they find joy as they prayerfully consider leaving all things for Christ and listening to his words. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parents and caregivers of Christian families, that they listen to their children and foster their gifts with encouragement and patience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, may they know that Christ does not abandon them in their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Lorraine Kiewitkowski, for Jim Marchetti, for Lola Vasquez, as, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and in the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they draw joyfully from the springs of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For these public and caregivers, especially those who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty our living God, by your word the heavens were opened, and the world and the world heard your anointed Son, and the world heard you anoint your Son. We pray that, following our baptismal call, we may choose to love you and keep you keep your commandments through Christ our Lord. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the streets, water, and wine, come to your ministry of Christ among themselves to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Great brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan, be revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, 
and by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might, might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and each of us. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. To have Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the Saint Hugh, Saint Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold the one to whom John said, I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Join this great Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To us pray the prayer to our Mother of Mothers. Mother of Mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the Mother and the Son of God. Mary, my Mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of Holy Motherhood, imploring me I come to you. Humbly I beseech you. Confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your own powerful intercession, Help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin. Poor and needy, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us.